morning you guys so to start off this video I just want to show you one of the most annoying things that happens in the world so I just got my car detailed right like it's been a forever because it's been like raining here and stuff so I was like I don't want to get it detailed and then it just rains so I get it detailed and then literally maybe two hours right after I get it detailed it rains <laughs> But, I mean, the inside's clean now. I guess it was worth it. I don't know. It's it, it definitely feels better driving the car when it's clean. But I'm going to go. I'm actually off to Brian and Eric's dad's shop to get the uh, oil change on this guy because I'm actually going to be driving up to Jesse's house tomorrow with Jesse. She just wants to visit her parents, and I would like to go. It's kind of nice to get out of San Diego. She lives in this place called, it's called Wasco. It's like an hour and a half north of L.A. So, yeah, we're going to be doing that. So I wanted to get the oil change before I did that. I'll see you guys there. Fancy seeing you here. Am I in a vlog right now? Yes, yes you are. Uh, here, let me give it to you. Just got home from the shop and I should not have tried to pop that pimple right there because that looks horrible and looks like I got punched in the face but don't worry it's just a pimple that it decided to pop I'm gonna stop talking about that because that's disgusting but I just got done at the shop cars fine oil has changed I don't know what it is about after I get my oil changed but I feel like my car is just healthier and like everything about it is better um, so it's like a really good feeling driving home but I'm home now and I think I'm gonna get some breakfast or make some breakfast so I'll check in with you guys then I just got home from getting my oil changed and I wanted to show you guys um, like I get a, the question how do you make your oatmeal look so good or like mine's the questions will be like mine's super runny or mine's way too dry uh, so I just want to show you guys like this is fail proof like I've never made oatmeal and messed up making it this way so li literally all you need is whatever oatmeal you're gonna use this is the new tea mode so it's like almond cherry cobbler flavor it's really really good it has these little dried cherries right here so those are inside of the oatmeal and it, you can eat it by itself and they're just really good. So whatever oatmeal you want to use, you can use plain oats, whatever you want to do. And this is how I make the base of my oatmeal. So luckily for me with this stuff, I just make it and you don't have to do anything or add anything. But say if you're going to use like plain oats, make it like this and then you can add in whatever you want to add in. Cocoa powder, if you want to add in peanut butter, if you want to add in like anything else, you would do this after this first step. But this first step is the only way that I'll ever make oats. It's super simple. So all you need is oatmeal and water. So there's water in this cup right here. So what you're going to do is you pour the oatmeal, however much you're going to use. I'm going to use 120 grams or three servings of this right here. So you're going to pour that in. And then when you're pouring in the water, or if you want to use milk, you can do this. But I, I recommend water, less calories, and it's just a little bit easier to work with. Um, you're going to pour the water in to where the water is kind of barely covering the oatmeal so it's gonna be like you'll see the water just barely above the oatmeal that's the perfect temperature so or perfect it's a perfect amount of water so then you're gonna throw it in the microwave for one minute stir it up after the minute it's done put it back in the microwave put it back in there for one minute now if it comes out and it seems like it's a little too dry that's totally fine because you can just add in a little bit of water once it's already cooked up you know you just add in a little bit of water stir it in there and then it'll be the perfect consistency if it's too watery you just throw it in there for like 30 more seconds and you should be golden so let me go ahead and make this up i'll show you guys how i do it and then hopefully you guys will make the perfect oatmeal And there you go, you guys. I know some people might think that that's too runny or they might think that it's too thick. So you just add a little bit more water if you want it to be a little bit, if you think it's too thick. And then it's that simple. It's super easy. Oatmeal is not at all rocket science. Super easy to figure out. So I'm going to eat that. And then I'm also going to have this Quest Bar right here. It's going to be a delicious breakfast.
It is gym time now, the best time of the day. It's currently about to be five, well it is five o'clock. Um, I'm away to pick up Jesse. got a pre-workout ready. Uh, I've been waiting for her to get off work um, and go into the gym with her just because I don't, I, I feel like it would. it's kind of nice that we're able to go to the gym at the same time. And a lot of times if, you know, if I don't wait for her to get off work and go to the gym like before, she won't be able to go to the gym. So I don't think that's kind of, it's kind of messed up. So I try to wait a little bit, get what I need to do done during like early part of the day and then we're able to go to the gym after she gets off. And it's kind of nice we're able to hang out a little bit more. But yeah, it's really, really cool. It is a very nice feeling being in my car when it is like detailed and stuff and just cleaned. I probably waited a little bit longer than I should have uh, to get it detailed because it was getting kind of dirty and just like, I, I, I don't think it was an accurate representation of how much I appreciate the car. Uh, so I needed to, you know, make sure it was clean and, and just uh, make sure that I, you know, my, the way that I feel about it is um, represented in how I take care of it. So definitely waited a little bit too long to detail it as people were commenting like, man, your car is looking a little dirty. Uh, you're right. You're right. But yeah, let's go to the gym. We're doing some deadlifts and then um, I'm wearing a stringer today so I think I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of a physique update because it is pretty much the very end of my bulk um, so I want to show you guys what I look like at the end of the bulk so we're here at the gym and I just got the best news ever here with the most pretty girl at the gym so apparently because normally you have, to park, you have to pay to park, but after six o'clock, you don't have to pay. So I'm gonna start coming in at six every day. So I have to pay for no parking. Right, Gio? Right. Right? This okay. is the owner, he thinks he's buff though. He's not. <laughs> How did your deadlift session go? Really good. Yeah? Yeah, I did five sets of five, 135. I was actually really happy with it because I haven't done deadlifts in a really long time. So that's good for me. Yay. So my deadlifts went super, super good. So I wanted to try three sets, no, five sets of three with whatever weight. And I got up to 315 and it felt really, really easy. So 315 pounds for five sets of three. Super, 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 super excited about it. It, did, it didn't even feel hard at all. So that was really, really exciting. And then at the very end of my deadlifts, you guys will see this. Um, I decided to try conventional for the first time in forever. Um, I should probably be doing this a little bit more. Hit 225 for I think like four reps. Um, and it didn't, it didn't feel too hard. I think my hips were a little too high, but that's okay. So now me and Jesse are done with our deadlifts. Now we're going to do back. So enjoy this back workout footage. I don't know how to pose. <laughs> 